We are in Almaville Bamboo Farm. We're with Chris Buecher today, and he's gonna tell us, or maybe show us, why we would want to choose bamboo over some other choices. Maybe some shrubbery or perhaps some trees. Chris, give me some attributes of why we should choose bamboo. One of the reasons people select bamboo is because they're interested in disguising or hiding something that's offensive. It might be a school bus next door, it might be a particularly offensive neighbor. And, and the bamboo does this, number one, effectively, number two, inexpensively, and number three, with almost no maintenance. If you put up a privacy fence with most HOAs, you're limited to six feet. You can go 20 feet pretty easily here in a narrow band, and that's an issue too. If you were using a Leland or an Arborvitae, they're gonna grow in every dimension. You can have bamboo provide a nice screen if you've only got two or three feet. In fact, I had a customer last week that did it in a nine inch wide planter because all he was trying to do was soften That's the edge of That's not very wide, is it? That's right, it didn't. But what he was looking to do was to soften a sharp edge. Um, it does that nicely. It's virtually completely disease resistant. And in our soil up here, where you're standing, is really a great big rock with a little dirt on top of it. Bamboo will thrive in that condition whereas that would kill a tree. That's why there weren't any trees on this property before we started to grow bamboo. And so you were mentioning that you trim some of your bamboo. Can you talk about that to us? Yes, most people don't have any idea that bamboo can be trimmed to virtually any height you want. And what you'll see here is not specific to this species. You can do it with any of them. Um, we're standing in an area that's mowed with a lawnmower, but it's got rhizomes underneath here. We're right next to a portion that's 20 something feet high. This is 20 years old and we had an issue right overhead, we have some power lines. So the power company, which has a 20 foot right of way, came in here and it's their right, they cut everything to the ground. I decided we better make lemonade out of this lemon. So what we did is we came in here and began to groom it. The area behind me is trimmed at four feet high. That's all we do is take a head shear. The one directly that. behind you is what directly you trim at four feet, okay. We trim that with head shears one time a year. Very simple. And it stays that way for 10 months. The end it of doesn't the, can produce new shoots to make to go up. It just stays there where it you It just stays that way until the hedge. following spring. Yeah, perfect hedge as well. Perfect hedge, that's right. If this was privet, uh -huh. God forbid, you'd be trimming <laughs> it all year round, just Absolutely. like we have to do around the edge of our pastures. In the distance, we have some that's much taller. That's hand trimmed once a year. It's as simple as pulling a piece over, taking your Felco's clipping the top off and you're done. It stops right there. There's no terminal bud. Bamboo only expands telescopically. No cambium layer. It's but you mentioned rhizomes. They're rhizomes. That's where the food is stored. Okay. So it's stored underground. And if you change your mind, again, like we did right here, this, this area used to come out further. Mm -hmm. And I just simply cut it to the ground. So now it stays in that position. That brings me to a good point. Mm -hmm. Say my neighbor planted some bamboo and it's invading my property. So you're saying that if you cut it back, keep it mowed, you can keep it contained that way? There's two answers to that. And okay. I get that telephone call dozens <laughs> of times. I bet you do, because that's the worst thing you hear about bamboo. That's what, that's what they're afraid of. That's what yeah. people are afraid of. And there's really no need to be because they visualize bringing in heavy equipment and removing all that. It's not necessary. What you have to do is understand how the plan plant grows. It expands under the ground with rhizomes. And yes, it can go a long way. But do you know when What's you a long way? 20 feet in a wow, year. Wow, okay, that is a long way. That's right. Yeah. So we have areas on the property where we have two groves of different species that are closer together than that. Mm -hmm. So how do we handle it? How do we keep them from mixing? I take a can of spray paint, I mark it in February of each year, and I have guys who weigh a couple hundred pounds with a special nursery spade go along and insert that six inches in the ground. What you've just done is severed the rhizome and potentially those new shoots from its primary food source. How deep are the growth. rhizomes then? They're normally in the top four to six inches of the soil, a little okay. bit deeper with timber plants. Okay. So under normal circumstances, you're gonna catch those rhizomes simply by root pruning. And that's all you have to do. If you wanna get rid of it on your side, you just continue to mow it because there's a limited food supply in the remaining rhizome. Now. If you want to go further than that, if you're right next to somebody's flower garden, mm -hmm. then you want to consider putting in a tree root barrier. 
It's the same kind of root barrier they use for trees in an urban setting, and when that tree root hits it, it stops because it cannot penetrate 60 mil HDPE. A rhizome. Not 60 mil HDPD. High density polyethylene. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Nursery pots. Okay, all right. That's a all I need to know. Okay, from, okay. And we keep lots of that on. I'm here. learning here, so you got to. That's quite all right. <laughs> talk it down. <laughs> and it's it's heavily used. If the, the biggest installation I've seen is at the Creation Museum near Cincinnati. They've got a lovely botanical garden outside, and they've probably got 17 or 18 bamboo groves surrounded by flowers and shrubs, and you might think, why are these not mixing until you see about three inches of plastic sticking up? So this is a large-scale use of rhizome barrier or tree root barrier to contain the bamboo. Very successfully done for many years. So basically two ways to contain it is what you've told us, correct? There's two. If you look around the other parts of our property, we just mow around it most places. It's only if you're close to something that you would want to root prune it. Where you're standing, we don't root prune that. We just run over it with a lawnmower. But if you've got a neighbor that's an issue, yes, you want to take more aggressive steps. Well, you've given me a lot of choices, some options. I'm still a little apprehensive, I have to say, but uh, I think I, I think I might try container first because... That's yeah. perfectly okay. fine. There, there are many people who can't put something in the ground. They may not even have enough soil to do that. Correct. But you can custom make a planter. We've got some in Green Hills that are 20 feet long custom built by builders and you can google um, corrugated metal planters and you'll find some lovely ones that would work just fine and we carry some. Well Chris I want to tell you thank you I've learned a lot. Good. Kind of sparked some ideas running around in the back of my head and things to do. I'm already thinking about where I could place some so I appreciate that and I hope our viewers that you know get excited about bamboo as excited as you are. It it's your life it. passion at this point right? That's right. Yeah. Let's come well, out thank and walk the property see what we do. Well thank you very much for sharing Chris. For inspiring garden tours, growing tips and garden projects visit our website at volunteergardener.org or on YouTube at the Volunteer Gardener channel and like us on Facebook.